Welcome to the International Towing and Recovery Hall of Fame and Museum. We're happy you made us a part of your day and hope that you walk away with a better understanding and appreciation of the incredible towing and recovery industry. Chattanooga plays a key role in the story of the towing industry and is the birthplace of the tow truck. It all started in 1916 when a man by the name of John Wiley flipped his Model T into the Chickamauga Creek. Word quickly spread to Ernest Holmes Sr., a local mechanic who was eager to take on the challenge. Holmes, along with eight other men, spent the entire day recovering Mr. Wiley's vehicle. With ropes, bricks, wood beams, and grit, the men were able to complete the recovery. This experience stuck with Ernest Sr., and he put his creative mind to work. Over the next two years of late nights and countless prototypes, Ernest secured a patent in January 1918. His invention was the first of its kind, a split boom wrecker. This unique concept was built on the theory that an operator could anchor the truck on one side and recover a vehicle on the other as to not tip the wrecker. Holmes used the sleek 1913 locomobile to mount his hand-cranked split boom. The design worked wonderfully and he began production on the Holmes 485, the first commercially available tow truck ever built. Holmes actively began marketing and selling his invention. He advertised the wreckers as an asset to capture more business. In fact, it wasn't rare for him to receive personal letters from customers raving about their new wrecker. We know it's the most satisfactory addition to our plant that we've made since we've been in business. Throughout his career, Ernest Sr. patented nearly a dozen improvements to aid the industry, leaving a lasting legacy. He was a classic American inventor and entrepreneur and fought his way through the depression to build an enduring company. Towing, as many in the industry say, is something that's in your blood. That was most certainly the case with the Holmes family. Standing on the shoulders of their grandfather, Gerald Jerry Holmes and Bill Holmes founded Century Record Corp in 1974. They were the first company to build affordable hydraulic towing equipment, which is now the universal industry standard. He was the first one to make the twin boom wrecker, Jerry Holmes said of his grandfather. It was the standard until my hydraulic wrecker took over. Jerry felt that the twin boom wrecker had reached its limit, so he leveraged his mechanical engineering background to bring hydraulic cranes to the masses. After all, they had already been used by U.S. forces during World War II, but as designed, they were too expensive for the commercial market. Bootstrapping the business, Jerry was able to make his dream a reality. The hydraulic wrecker provided more power, efficiency, and control than its predecessor. In an effort to commemorate countless milestones such as these, the International Towing and Recovery Museum was founded by the Friends of Towing. In 1995, the museum established a more permanent footprint here in Chattanooga. The museum has an ongoing mission to collect and display artifacts and industry memorabilia. In turn, these efforts aim to enlighten the general public regarding the many valuable contributions to society on a worldwide scale made by the towing and recovery industry. In 2006, the wall of the fallen memorial was added to the outside grounds. This memorial is dedicated to the men and women of the industry who have lost their lives in the line of service to the motoring public. A ceremony is held annually to add the names of these towing professionals to the wall of the fallen, memorializing their sacrifice. Another mission of the museum is to provide relief to affected families by providing financial aid through the Survivor Fund. This fund has generously been contributed to by thousands of individuals and organizations. It has helped lift burdens of families within the industry as they work their way through mourning. If you're interested in learning more about or donating to the Survivor Fund, please ask a museum employee. We thank you for your support. Unbeknownst to most, the towing industry has three times more fatalities working the roadside than all other first responders combined. Every state in the U.S. has some form of slow-down, move-over law to help protect first responders. We encourage all those attending the museum today to leave committed to the move-over laws to give tow operators and other first responders the room they need to complete their job safely. 
The museum is also home to the International Towing and Recovery Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame honors men and women who have made a significant impact through their selfless and exceptional contributions to our industry in particular, and humanity in general. Much like the early inventions of the Holmes family, these inductees build on each other's achievements to better the industry for everyone. Each year, a select group of individuals is inducted into the Hall of Fame, and a commemorative ceremony is held in their honor. To date, the Hall of Fame has hundreds of inductees from more than 20 countries. In addition to these attractions, there are many other displays that are historically significant to our industry. Standing prominently among them is a Holmes W-45 military wrecker from World War II. Over 7,000 were manufactured and deployed, running 24 hours a day to keep the U.S. troops mobile, fueled, fed, and armed. You'll also find the world's fastest wrecker. The Holmes 440 High Power model holds the world record for the fastest wrecker on a closed course speed run. It completed its high speed laps in 1979 at the Talladega Speedway with an average speed of 109.33 miles per hour. There are plenty of attractions for the kids as well. The museum is home to the most extensive toy tow truck collection in the world. The museum is also home to Tater Tot, which has an operational boom allowing the children to try their hand at operating a tow truck. We hope you enjoy your visit to the International Towing and Recovery Hall of Fame and Museum. We thank you for making us a part of your day and hope that you're able to gain a greater appreciation for the incredible achievements in the towing industry.